If you're struggling to grow on Instagram right now, it's probably because you're posting the wrong type of content, you're not using Instagram's latest feature, and you're messing up the secret thing that I'm about to share with you towards the end of this video, and I promise you, once you begin implementing these new things, you're gonna see your views increase, and you're gonna see the amount of followers that you're gaining increase. In fact, I just helped this creator implement these changes, and they were able to gain over 20,000 followers, and I helped this creator implement these changes, and they went from struggling to grow on social media to gaining over 50,000 followers and being able to quit their nine to five job in order to pursue creating content full time. If you want results like that, then please make sure you smash that subscribe button because I literally upload a video every single day about how to grow on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. In addition to that, I just put out a free course. You can get it the link in the pinned comment below. It's gonna share with you things like the best time to post on Instagram right now and the best hashtags to use because unfortunately, I'm not gonna have time to cover those things in this video. What are you waiting for? It's literally 100% free. Just go to the link in the pinned comment below and get into it right now. The first thing that I need to make sure that you're doing is you actually need to be creating the right content on Instagram right now. There are two types of content that are working right now. The first is going to be carousel posts and the second are going to be reels. Now, whether or not you should be uploading carousel posts or reels, you're gonna to have to determine by doing some testing because it's different for every creator and it's different for every niche. For example, if you're in the OnlyFans niche, photos are doing really good right now. Reels are also doing really good. If you're in the finance niche, I would only stick to reels. If you're in the fashion niche, I would probably only stick to reels. And you guys get what I'm saying here. It's going to completely depend, so you're going to have to test these two things. But when you're doing your testing, you wanna make sure that you're paying attention to two different metrics. The first one is just how much reach you're getting, how many followers you're gaining each post. But secondly, and more importantly, is how many non-followers you're reaching. Because if every time that you upload a photo or a carousel, you're only reaching people that follow you, but you're getting a lot of likes, well then that's actually not gonna help you grow. It'll make you feel good about yourself because you're getting good engagement, but it's not gonna help you grow any faster. Now contrast that with if you're posting Reels, you're getting a little bit less likes, but 90% of the people that are seeing them are non-followers. Well, then that content is actually gonna have you gain more followers. And over the long haul, it's going to help you get more views, more likes, more engagement, more brand deals, and everything that you want to actually come from posting on Instagram. But you can't just expect to grow by posting the right type of content. And by that, I mean that you can't just post a reel and expect to grow or a carousel and expect to grow without you actually optimizing those posts. Because one of the biggest mistakes that I see creators making right now is they don't actually understand how Instagram works. Instagram cares about two things. If you're uploading a photo carousel, they care about people getting to the last section of the carousel. If you're uploading a reel, they care about how long somebody actually spends watching that content. Lucky for you, Instagram finally has analytics around this. So what you need to be doing if you're posting reels, you need to be looking at your watch time and looking at how long the actual video is. If your video is 15 seconds long, but you only get four seconds of watch time, I guarantee that you would get more views and you'd get more followers and you'd get more non-follower views if you made that video five seconds long, had all the information you had in the 15 seconds in the caption and told people to go there. Why? Because then you'll get almost 100% watch time. At least you'll get 80%. And what is this gonna do? It's gonna increase the amount of views that you end up getting. Because all Instagram's incentivized to do is keep people on the platform. So all they do is push content that pushes them on the platform. This is why if you're doing a carousel, you wanna keep it to two to three slides. The carousels that get the most engagement on Instagram, they don't have 10 posts. They don't have eight posts. They don't have six posts. They have two to three posts. In the maximum, I would do four posts. And what is this gonna do? It's going to increase the amount of engagement that you actually get if you get people to go all the way through to the end. And you're probably wondering, how do you do that? You need to structure things the same way that I'm structuring this video because the last point I'm making this video is gonna be by far the most important if you wanna take advantage of Instagram right now. It is easier to grow on Instagram right now than it ever has been before. A year ago, they only pushed reels. Now they push reels and they push photos. So what does this mean? This equal opportunity for all creators under any niche. So if you wanna get more followers, you need to make sure that you're taking this stuff seriously because if you miss out on this, it could be your last chance to grow on Instagram, and that would be one of the worst mistakes that you ever make because audiences on Instagram are so easily monetizable, and this is something you need to be taking advantage of. Now, the last thing that you need to make sure that you're doing is taking advantage of the new feature that Instagram just released. If you go on Shorts, there's a Shorts feed. If you go on TikTok, there's a For You page, and there is now a For You page on Instagram. And you're probably wondering, Rob, how do I get to it? Is it on the home page? Do I have to search for it? How do I find this For You page? So all you're gonna do, next time you go to post about something, do a search for that topic. You're going to see a ton of different posts show up. And if you click on one of those reels and then keep scrolling, guess what ends up happening? You only see content that pertains to that topic. And if you watched my videos before, now you know what to do with that information. Make videos on those topics. Make videos using those hooks. Make videos in those formats. Remix those videos. 
stitch those videos and make sure that you're looking at how long that creator's description is and how long their post is because those two things are going to tell you what kind of content you should be creating. Because if you're making 60 second videos, but everybody on the fitness for you page is making eight second videos, well then guess what? You're not gonna get the views or followers that you want because Instagram is pushing out eight second content to those people. And if you wanna be one of the channels or one of the pages that shows up when you're scrolling that, what you do, if that's your ideal audience, well then you need to make sure that you're making your content within the guidelines of what that viewer actually wants to see. Now, if you wanna get guaranteed followers on Instagram right now, please keep watching this video because I've got a special offer for you. The opportunity to grow on Instagram and this organic reach we're currently seeing are not gonna last forever. And there are two things holding you back from seeing the growth like the creators that I share with you in this video. The first one is that you haven't implemented the tips that I just shared with you. And the second is that you haven't gotten into my Instagram mentorship program yet. That's literally gonna guarantee that I help you get more followers on Instagram in the next 30 days or you get your money back, zero questions asked. In fact, the average person that's gone through this program in the last 30 days has gained over 25,000 followers and nobody has ever gone through it and gained less than a thousand followers if they implement to every piece of advice that I share with them. Now, since you're still watching this video, I'm gonna assume you're probably above average. So the odds of you gaining over 25,000 followers are probably quite high. And if you want results like that, go to the link in the description below right now and sign up because there are limited spots available. I'm gonna be telling you exactly what to post, when to post, what hashtags to use. I'm gonna send you new post ideas and I'm gonna critique your content to guarantee that you get more growth on Instagram in the next 30 days. It doesn't matter what your niche is or what your background is, this program is gonna help you get followers more easily and quicker so that you don't have to spend endless hours trying to figure out the things that I already know about exactly how to grow your account. In fact, I just helped this creator in the program and they gained over 100,000 followers in just 30 days. I helped this creator, they gained over 150,000 and this creator over 200,000 followers. If you want results like that and I want you to be my next success story, go to the link in the description below and sign up right now because every single day that you wait, it's only going to get harder to grow on Instagram. It is easier than ever to grow right now, but you need to take advantage of this opportunity. And what's better than an opportunity where you're literally going to grow on Instagram or get your money back because zero questions asked. Again, there are limited spots, so go to the link in the description below and sign up right now. Otherwise, I strongly suggest you check out the next two videos I put up on the screen because they're the videos YouTube thinks you should watch next. Thank you so much for watching.